Tonight, the high-profile murder case for a Palm Springs luxury jewelry executive who was shot and killed at the outlet outlets in Cabazon will soon head to trial. The victim's husband now speaking out. News Channel 3's Jake Ingracia is live in studio. And Jake, you spoke to him and have the latest in this case. Karen, the twin 20-year-old men and a 19-year-old accused in this robbery-turned-murder appeared in court today in Banning. Their trial now expected to start next month. The husband of the victim tells me this process has been a nightmare for him. The trio accused in a deadly robbery that took the life of a Palm Springs man was in front of a judge in Banning Tuesday. Our camera is only permitted to capture still images. Elijah Burt is charged with first degree murder. His twin brother Emmanuel facing a robbery charge. Their co-defendant Reginald Trice also charged with murder. All pleaded not guilty last year. Police say 66 year old Michael Moser was shot and killed last March at the Desert Hills premium outlet stores in Cabazon. Moser was big in the luxury industry. He retired late last year from his position of nearly a decade as vice president of jeweler Harry Winston. His husband, Michael Rudder, says the details of what happened remain scarce, even for him. I've got great confidence that the story will come out in front of a jury and justice will be done. He got his last phone call from his husband at 5.30 the evening of the killing. He said he was going to stop at Cabazon, get the car charged, get a Starbucks and come home. An hour and a half later, Moser wasn't answering his phone. I just knew something was wrong. Court documents obtained by News Channel 3 say Moser was followed on foot from outside the outlets in Cabazon to inside a public restroom. There, he was held up at gunpoint while his assailants tried to rob him. As the case pushes forward in court, Rudder says his husband was never afforded the chance to defend himself, as it has been to the suspects. They're fighting for their life, and their lawyers are there to help them. That's an opportunity Michael will never have. Now, the trial is set to start on June 9th. Those defendants ordered back in court then. Stay with us as we continue to track this case. Jake Gracia, News Channel 3.